how does liquid cooling work and why should anyone consider it? I hope we got your attention. I'm Attila and I'll help you to understand the basics of liquid cooling. Liquid cooling loops are designed to transfer heat away from crucial components of your PC, such as the processor, graphics card and motherboard. But how exactly does it work? As liquid circulates through the cooling system, it transfers heat away from PC components to the radiator where it's dissipated. Such a cooling solution is much more efficient than traditional air cooling. Efficient cooling prolongs the lifespan of PC components, provides reliable computing performance when facing demanding workloads, improves overclocking potential for even higher performance, and does all of this with lower noise emissions. Every liquid cooling loop has four key components that work together. A pump, a reservoir, a water block and a heat exchanger which is in this case a radiator with a fan the radiator i love you man not that fan this fan we must not forget the supporting components such as tubing and fittings that interconnect all the key components and of course the coolant this is very similar to how a car engine cooling system looks we have a water pump, a small reservoir where you usually top off your coolant, an engine block where the coolant picks up the heat, and a radiator that dissipates the heat into the environment. Let's talk about these parts individually. The reservoir is the starting point of a liquid cooling loop. It serves as a filling point for the coolant and holds extra liquid, which helps during the filling process. The circulation of the liquid is powered by the pump, the heart of the cooling system, which makes the liquid flow through all the components of the cooling loop. The pump and the reservoir are sometimes combined into a single unit, a so-called combo unit that takes up less space and requires less tubing and fewer fittings. All water blocks have metal parts that are called cold plates, and in PC liquid cooling, copper is usually the material of choice. Cold plates generally use dense microfins which increase the surface area where the coolant can interact with the water block and pick up as much heat as possible. Water blocks can be placed onto CPUs, GPUs or any other heat source in your PC as long as there is a water block for it. Radiators are heat exchangers used to transfer thermal energy from one medium to another. Each radiator consists of small tubes that lead from the inlet to the outlet of the radiator and this is where the coolant flows. Between the tubes are densely packed fins which are cooling them and with that also the coolant that flows through the radiator. All this works even better if a fan is added to force air through the radiator. This is why both of these components are an essential part of every liquid cooling loop as they have a high impact on the efficiency of cooling and the noise levels. That's it, the basics of liquid cooling. Simple and effective, a well thought out design that pushes the boundaries of how we can use our computers. But that's not all. You can learn more about the benefits and the use of liquid cooling in our upcoming videos and also on our website under the blogs section. See you in the next one, and if you like this kind of content, subscribe to our YouTube channel, stay cool!